I'm gonna grab my tea because this is exciting. This is a time between you and me where we learn how to edit some videos. And actually, let me bring you to my teaching corner because yeah, you know it is. I set it up and everything because today is gonna be a tutorial. So this is my official presentation and welcome to my class. Um, there's a lot that I want us to get. Welcome to class. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see. see now. This is your first lesson failure in this video the lighting is off Towel is in the background and I didn't realize that the audio wasn't loud enough So if I play the TV audio and the original audio there will be background noise Ugh. I guess my lesson is you're gonna fail when filming But it's about making it look like it was all a part of the plan Welcome to how to edit videos by Nubuke First, when I started my editing journey, the software that I used was iMovie. Um, iMovie is great for so many things, but one of the, my favorite features on iMovie is it allows you to make little, little trailers. Um, and so I used to go on there quite a lot. But with iMovie, I found that I wanted to start moving my text around, moving like some pictures in the frame. So for me, iMovie became really kind of limiting. And so I did the trial version of Final Cut Pro, which was extremely helpful because last year they allowed you to do the trial version for a couple of months. So I was using it and I was getting in touch with it. I was learning how to do Final Cut Pro. And so I was able to achieve so many different things with Final Cut Pro. Now with Final Cut Pro, you have to pay some money and it is pretty pricey. But what I did was because I was a student at the time, I actually bought the Pro Student Bundle, which allows you to buy Final Cut Pro and then a bunch of apps all for $199 as opposed to $299, which is what Final Cut Pro is at the moment. So it is pretty expensive, but you get $100 off if you're a student. So make sure you check out that function because I found that I practiced Final Cut Pro when I was in university because my university had a free um, Final Cut Pro bundle and so that was extremely helpful for me. So please, if you are a student, if you know any students, make sure that you explore that before you pay full price. The next thing that I do when I'm editing is that I actually go hunting for music. So YouTube has a policy that says that you cannot just pick any random song and add it to your video. It needs to be copyright free for you to be able to add the music to your video. Essentially what that means is, is the music for somebody else and have they allowed you to use that music for your channel. See, now it's very, very important that you pay attention to this part of YouTube's policy because it's either you will not get monetized on the video, which means you won't get any money on the video your channel will be striped so you need to be very very careful about that because you don't want to lose your channel and just a whole host of other reasons one of the things that i do is i should go copyright free music real quick before we continue because this tripped me up a couple of times if you do look for copyright free music make sure it truly is copyright free i actually have a video that i had uploaded and everything was good and then youtube hit me with a copyright claim that is not your music and i was like oh my god but the artist said it was copyright free and it wasn't so be very very careful so make sure you're going to reliable sources for copyright free music and pay attention in the youtube checks to know if it's truly copyright free okay let's go new okay one of the things that i do is i should go copyright free music um a youtube channel that is big for that is audio library audio library has playlists on playlists of places that you can go to find music for the certain moods that you're feeling about your video now another hack as well is final cut pro or iMovie's own music library. There is a whole host of jingles, music that you can add to your videos and I always try and add a couple of jingles here and there when I'm editing some of my videos as well. Now currently, I actually use Artlist, which is a website that allows you to find so much copyright free music to basically a lot of themes that you're doing. So if I'm looking for cinematic, if I'm looking for happy, if I'm looking for exciting, if I'm looking for sad. So for those of you who have been giving me shout outs on my music, I get all my music from Artlist, which is extremely helpful. And I'm going to leave my promo code link in the description box below for one month free off for you as well if you want to join Artlist. And they also have this little cute thing that they do. So shout out to Artlist where they send creators packages where there's like a bunch of different effects. Do you know what? You're actually doing pretty good. 
Okay, so now let's talk about my workflow, how I actually edit my videos. The first thing you want to look at is text. I tend to drift towards Helvetica Nui in medium italic because I find that that is nice, it's modern, you can adjust the tracking, but then also with my last video. Hey, 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 pay attention here because this, it kind of gets boring, but I promise if you stick with me, we'll get somewhere. So now in your text function, in your title function here, what you want to do is look for a custom title. This just means that it doesn't come with any pre-effects, disappearing effects, all of these things that are already available for you in the title slide thing. So I've selected a custom function here. Now I've dragged it and I've put it on my timeline. All I need to do now is I need to go, let's say, let's do Nubuke is great. I kind of like how this text looks, but honestly, it's too plain and simple. Usually, I use Helvetica Nui in medium italic because I genuinely like how that looks. But let's say I want a little bit piz more pizzazz. I want a little bit more vim. And I don't really want to do the work to do that. Final Cut Pro has functions already that helps you. So here, on top of Nubuke is great, the text box, there is a button that says normal. Select normal. Then go here to 2D styles and look. Look at all these chickens. You don't really got to do any work. It is there for you. So now 2D styles, I've chosen 4 3D. Ah, look at this. Look at Nubuke is great. This is what I call beautiful. Okay, let's go on back to editing. With the effects, one thing is that Final Cut Pro actually has like an effects library. I drag the effects that you would usually use for your videos onto my text and it gives it a certain reveal. And then also typewriter. That's one of the functions I do a lot. I actually find it so chic. So I just click on typewriter, change the font on typewriter, and voila, sometimes I, I mess with the speed to um, help enhance the video a bit more. Okay, so there's also something called overlays. Overlays are kind of videos that you put on top of your videos that give your videos a certain effect. For example, this thing where I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, there's math, there's math, there's math. That's an overlay that I use to be able to create this effect. All you have to do is go to YouTube, download math equation overlay, put it on top of your video. Now this is where you need to pay closer attention. Essentially what you want to do is go into the functions tab, click on overlay or any of the options below, kind of mess around with it a bit to see what it would look like to create a certain feel to your videos. And voila, that's an overlay. You can do this with snow, you can do this with dust, you can do this with a bunch of other things, but it does give your video like, you know, some kind of spice, some kind of feel to the video. Something that I do to help engage the viewers is the zoom effect where sometimes I bring the video closer, sometimes I bring it back. Um, sometimes you can just go ahead and crop certain parts of your video so it zooms in on the face really quickly as I'm talking like this and you can see my face as it zooms. Or I can do it like a Ken Burns to give you a vibe that is like more sultry and like, oh, let me tell you a secret and all of these things about my videos. That's one of the effects that you can do as well. I did mention that there was a function in Final Cut Pro that actually allows you to pick out some effects. So let's say you wanted the bad TV effect here because you felt like this was glitchy and this video needed to be in bad TV. You got that there. Let's say you wanted this to be an age old movie. You have that as well. There's so many different options, but there's also transitions. So look at this transition here where it switches from one to another. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? I, I, I quite like that function and I use it a lot. But what do I do? I get sound effects. I put it under so it gives the whoosh effect. Thumbnails. So how do you do thumbnails? The big and the ultimate question. Honestly, I'm still exploring this area myself. But with thumbnails, I use Canva. I really, really like the site Canva because you do your thumbnails. It already has a pre-YouTube dimension thumbnail maker. There's already a bunch of different options that allow you to create your thumbnail from thumbnails that have already been created. And then there's a function that allows you to remove the background on Canva. And so if you wanted two of me here, all I need to do is so I know this has been a lot, it has been a lot to take in, but please let me know if you have any questions in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe, I am loving the support on my last video, and um, see you in my next video. Bye! I just wanna be a black, black Bill Gates in the making.
So watch this space. Watch this space.